am here today with Prescott Area Shelter Services, one of the United Way supported programs. And United Way focuses on health, education, and income in our community. We support the nonprofits that are working on poverty reduction in Yavapai County. In this program at Prescott Area Shelter Services, we support their case management services. And the reason we do that has been shown with studies that 90% of the people who are in transitional housing and receive supportive case management services to help them move on to the next step, they're likely to go into permanent long-term housing with that kind of support. So we're a big fan of this program and we work very closely with them. And I have here today with me the executive director of this program, Carmen Frederick. She's gonna tell you a little bit about how their services operate here in Yavapai County. Yes, and um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much to United Way for the support because truly United Way supports us in a way that helps us to provide uh, the services to the women and children living here. Um, our motto is moving people from crisis to stability. And so what that means is many times women and women with children come in in crisis and are you know, very overwhelmed in the beginning. And case management services really helps them to focus on what needs to be done and what they can do to calm down and, and get the things done so that they can move out of the shelter and into permanent housing. Hi, my name is Christella Lake and I am part of the Baghdad PTO, which is a parent-teacher organization. As a PTO, one of our goals is to empower students to achieve more. Uh, we found a successful way to do this last year by partnering with United Way to um, bring about literacy awareness here in Baghdad. Um, when we heard about the grant and the opportunities, we sat down and decided where our biggest needs were. And as we looked at um, our students and our, our needs and our scores, obviously our literacy and the awareness of it came to light. Um, what we did on that grant is we partnered obviously with United Way and then we joined with our administration and teachers to um, increase their curriculum to uh, extend teacher training and to get the participation on their behalf. Um, another thing we did is increase the local libraries, both the school libraries and the public library with more AR, which is accelerated reader books that became available for students, and also the individual teacher classroom libraries. Hi, my name is Tom Rose. I'm the construction and STEM teacher here at Baghdad's High School. I'd like to talk to you today about United Way of Yavapai County and how much they've helped out our school and our STEM program here. The reason that I have uh, decided to do this is I want to speak to you about some of the little cottages that United Way has helped us fund for the homeless people here in Yavapai County and how much our students have gotten involved and how much has changed their lives in the way that they have affected other people in the community. And I really believe that an informed student and an educated society really enlightens all of us. And through United Way's efforts and the grant that we received, I had over a dozen students compete and then participate in building a home and which we won a large award for from Lead to Feed. And so the money came back around in a circle almost 30 to 40 times what we put into it. Hi, I'm Cassie Estrada. And I'm Adrian Sandoval. And we're representatives from the Baghdad Pals class. Um, for me, I've been in Pals for the last four years. And when I started as a freshman, I thought that I knew everything in the world and that I really didn't need to do anything else. But um, as our journey went on, I realized that I didn't know everything in the world and that I still needed to grow as an individual and most importantly as a leader. So it really gave me the opportunity to grow. And um, at the end of the day, it's not about what we've done, but what we take away from everything. So I hope that everyone involved in PALS can kind of look back and be like, wow, PALS really did change us. And um, I just hope that we can leave footprints on the hearts that we touch.